Hi, welcome back to my channel where we break down complex NetSuite concepts into simple and fun to understand steps. We are going to do a series of videos highlighting NetSuite BI capabilities and in this video we are going to dive into reports. So NetSuite already comes with pre-configured out-of-the-box reports but they do not always meet your requirements and today we are going to see how we can customize those reports. Let's get started! Let's start with a brief overview of the different BI tools that we have within NetSuite. The first one, Save Searches, followed by Reports. This is what we're going to look at today. Then we have Suite Analytics consisting of Workbooks and Datasets, followed by Dashboards. So, as you mentioned, NetSuite offers a variety of standard reports out of the box but they might not always fit your exact needs. So we can broadly classify the reports into two groups. So we have the financial reports and the non-financial, which can be operational reports, transactional reports. And we can customize those reports to ensure that we are viewing the right data in the right way. Now, there are two ways to create a custom record. The first one is we can take either one of those standard reports and then we can modify them, which is the preferred way, well, my preferred way. Or the second one is we can create a new one from scratch. In this demo, we are going to customize an existing report. So to view the list of all your reports, go to Reports, Reports Overview. Here you will see all the out-of-the-box reports that are available in your NetSuite account. Now, the list that you see here will depend on several factors. First of them will depend upon the level of access that you have within this NetSuite account. And second will depend upon the modules that have been provisioned within your NetSuite account. So as we mentioned, we have financial reports and I would say the non-financial reports. All your financial reports would be located under the financial tab. So you have your basic financial statements such as your PL, your balance sheet, your cash flow statement. So in another video, we are going to deep, deep dive into customizing those financial statements. But for today, we're going to keep it very simple. So let's take a look at um, an AP agent report, for example. So this is your standard AP agent report. We have your vendor and the balances. Uh, we can change the date and we can also change the, uh, uh, the subsidiary. So if we want to see the open balance for the Canadian subsidiary, we can just filter by that. We can click on Canada. And then we have every time you do, you change the date or you change some filters here, you will have to click on the refresh button. Next we have some options available below so for example uh, if you want to extract your report in excel pdf csv or word format this is where you can go to do it we can also print and schedule this report to be sent so for example if you want this report to be sent to your um, controller every monday morning you can schedule this report to be sent automatically to that person now if we want to customize this report the easiest way to do it is to click on the customize button so we click on customize and this will bring us to the report builder so we can give it a custom name so let's say i will call it my ap aging report of course give it something meaningful um, and then we have different sub tabs here so for example in the edit column these are the columns that you will see in your report filters those are the filters that you will find at the bottom of your report. So for example, you can filter, as we have seen, we have filtered by subsidiary, by date, but if you want to filter by more um, fields, so for example, by the vendor category or by the payment terms, we can add those filters here. We can sort the data that we have seen in the report, whether ascending or descending order. And in more options, this is where we can for example, give access to this report to other people. We can do it by role. For example, 
um, all the admin will have access to this report or we can give it by specific employees or a specific subsidiary as well. So let's edit this report and add one column to it. So how can we add some fields to our report? Very easy. There are two ways to do it. So first here, so under our edit column subtab, we have search field. You can either add the field name here if you already know the name. You can add it here. So let's say I'm out. And then I can click on the little search icon. This will bring me a bunch of fields. So you uh, at your first try, you will have to do a bit of trial and error to find the to locate the correct field. But with time, it will get a little bit easier. Another way to do it. So let's say on this report, we already have the vendor name, but let's say we want to add the vendor email address as well. So what we will do now is here we have two categories. So think of it as NetSuite is pulling the AP agent report from two sources, from your vendor and then from your open bills. Now we want to add data from our vendor container onto this report. So we are going to expand this vendor record and we are going to see all the fields that are available on our vendor record in that suite. So let's say we want to add the email address. I can just click on it or drag and drop it here. And once it is on the right hand side of my report builder page, I can also move it around. So for example, I can move it to the left, or move it to the right and so on. Next, let's say I want to add, so we already have the open balance, but I want to add one in the foreign currency. And this information is located in my open payable container. So I can expand this little box under open payables and I can just browse through the fields that are available to me. So for example, uh, I will add amount due foreign currency. Here we go. So in this way, you can add any fields that you want depending upon your business needs. And once you are done, you can either preview the report or save it. So I'm just going to save it. Now, this is the my customer's report. So we have the vendor, the email. This vendor doesn't have an email address. We have the open balance. And then we have the open balance in my foreign currency as well. So this is how you can easily customize reports. Now, once you have customized those reports, where can you find them? So the easiest way to do it is we go back to report, report of view. And here on the saved reports, you will have all the reports that, well, you have customized and the reports that you have access to. So for example, this is where we can find the report that I have just customized, my AP Asian report. I can easily click on it and customize it a little bit further. So for example, let's say now I want to um, to view this report for all my subsidiaries. So I can just change my subsidiary context and don't forget to hit the refresh button. Here we go. This is how we can customize reports on NetSuite. Thank you for watching. Bye.